Welcome back everyone. Before we get started with the video, I have a quick announcement. Racketeer and Index Requiem have helped me set up a Discord server over the last week. Our intention is to support three main objectives, at least for now. The first is a fully open general channel. It's time to bring the community back together in a common forum. The second is the Starscape Archives project. Managed by Ritual and Vixel, the goal is to create a comprehensive Starscape historical timeline. And the third is support for Starscape content creators. This is something we are still working out, but our goal is to offer channels for discussion and advertisement of the Starscape YouTube content. Our Discord is moderated by Starscape staff and falls under Starscape's Discord rules. With that out of the way, I'd like to formally invite you all to join us in Spacey's Spacebar. I listed the hybrid beam we got last episode for sale at its current market value. I don't use beams often, and credits are very important for our progression right now. I also replaced our lost luminar from the unfortunate incident that happened last time. Sure hope that doesn't happen again. Now that we have our Ozark, we have a lot of mining to do, and one of the best places to mine early game is contested space. So I arrived at a decision. It was time to join a faction, partly because this would make contested space even safer for us in our brand new Ozark. I chose the Cavani for a couple of reasons. While I definitely appreciate the outcome of the poll posted on my channel recently, I'm also aware the vote may have been swayed by several player factions. Don't worry, the Feralcans will have their turn at the wheel, I promise. The Cavani have a very balanced ship line that have good energy management, having two reactor slots allowing for either extremely high regen or very high charge maximum. Cavani ships also offer extra utility slots, and this is no small bonus. These slots can come in very handy when making a more versatile loadout, giving Cavani pilots an array of options at hand at all times. On my way to Cavani contested space, I noticed that we passed by an important system, the site of the first recorded historical event in Starscape's history, the Battle of Islecog. The date is December 20th, 2018. Alcog used to be the host of two drone factories constructed around the second planet. Their close proximity to each other made them a very dangerous location, especially considering that the pilots at this time did not have access to warships. A strike force of eight star jumpers ambushed the factory in what was at the time the largest engagement in Starscape history. The human forces ultimately emerged victorious against the drones with no ships lost. Since then, the scale of battles in the galaxy has increased dramatically and engagements of this size are a routine occurrence. This historical marker is a reminder to all of us that great things often have humble beginnings. While traveling, I made a quick stop to finally check in on our skills. For weapons, I put three levels into weapon systems and three levels into scrapper. Scrapper can be pretty nice after a long PVE run. That scrap really adds up quick. For industry, I put three levels into mining and three levels into strip mining before putting another level back into mining. Two levels into mineral extraction, three into refining, and two into both coralite and reconite refining, respectively. For exploration, I put three levels into probe operation, three into probe radius, and one into probe longevity, and finally two levels into hacking. I also grabbed the ore that I left for fighting here before we left for our unfortunate journey to wild space last episode. We can now afford to craft a couple corvettes, but the one I want is the Edict. All we are missing is the blueprint, so I decide to return to the Citadel and see what is for sale on the market. After seeing the Edict blueprints are only about 10,000 credits, I grab one from the marketplace and quickly run down to the lower levels to begin crafting our first combat corvette.
The Edict is a good looking Corvette, but at the moment we don't have the resources to properly equip her with weapons. And so, we once again make the journey back to Cavani's base where we can rebuild our ore stockpile in relative safety. We get pretty lucky here and scan a CM, or Comet Anomaly. These contain water ice, which is the main crafting resource for heat sinks, one of the components of my favorite mining turret, the Strip Miner. Even though we don't have the correct turrets to mine ice, we will still get a fair amount from this Comet, so I switch to my Ozark and get to work. With a lot of the bulk mining out of the way, it was time for an extended wild space expedition. I decided to pull the honey badger out for this one, as it is fairly cheap to replace while also being more than enough to mine any of the higher quality ore we may come across in our journey.
I have two tips here, one related to every type of anomaly, and one related to ring aberrations specifically. When you have completed an anomaly or aberration, the warp point will disappear on the system map. This does a couple of things. Firstly, it is a good way to confirm that you have in fact completed that anomaly or aberration, whether you mined all the ore or found every hidden crate. It's just a good way to be sure. And since warp points despawn while you're still inside of the anomaly or aberration, I'm pretty sure this means other players cannot warp to you, although I have never directly tested this myself. If it works, it's a sort of funny way of creating a safe area of space, no matter where you are. Secondly, if you have the patience, I would really recommend that you check ring aberrations while exploring in a lighter ship. I know many players skip over these to save time, and they can often miss entire aberrations filled with blue or red narcor, and even vexnium. You'll see what I mean a little later. While exploring a system a couple of jumps away, I scanned our first VX anomaly. Naturally, the honey badger is nowhere near the strength we will eventually need to mine these anomalies, but for now, it's still worth checking. The VX anomaly is probably one of my favorite environments. It's so unique and set apart from other anomalies in the game. It has a sinister feel to it that I only get in one other place in the galaxy. The combination of dust and lightning feels very unlike the environment you see at Gate 9. I hope to see more strange and unsettling things across the galaxy in the future. The air of intrigue and mystery is such an enjoyable one. Anomalies like this cause me to pause every once in a while and think, are we really the most dangerous thing out there? Or is there something much worse that we have yet to awaken? It's the sort of unsettled feeling that games like Star Sector or even Deep Rock Galactic make you feel sometimes. The, there may actually be bigger, badder fish out there sort of feeling. While exploring this specific system, we ran into our first ancient satellite anomaly. These are pretty cool to find, as they offer the player a treasure map of sorts that can either be sold for money or tracked down and looted by the player carrying the map data. Immediately after finding our first, we run into our second satellite. One satellite is a lucky find. Two back to back is pretty remarkable. A little later on, we scan down and discover a ring deposit aberration containing blue and red Darkor. This system ends up being one of the most profitable systems we have found yet in our series. This isn't the only ring aberration we find filled with Narcor either, as only 15 minutes go by before we stumble across another. After a combined 12 hours of mining and exploring across our Ozark and Honey Badger, we finally find a secure wormhole and make the jump back to safe space, carrying a treasure trove of ore and items that we desperately needed to progress further.
It's always a good feeling returning to the Citadel after an extended mission in deep space. I don't exactly know why, but it is comforting, like returning to civilization at long last. I set my ore to refine and spend some time managing my skills again, as our long mining missions have rewarded us with another large portion of experience points. Returning the next day, I quickly grab my ore from the refinery and stow it in my safe storage. And after carefully crafting modules for the better part of an hour, we finally have what we need to fully equip our Ozark, our Cavani Corvette, and a brand new luxury, a Warpagon. A Paragon entirely dedicated to rapid long distance traveling. That one will become important for our next move. Our first destination is Othuren. This system contains the ancient structure marked by one of our beacons. The journey is a long one, but the reward is likely well worth our trouble. As we enter the system, our beacon detonates inside of our cargo hold, sending out a directional pulse of energy, pointing us in the exact direction of this still intact ancient mining structure. As with the structure itself, the original purpose these drones had has been long forgotten. They wander aimlessly, husks of a time long, long ago. Our second destination is Esnia. This location was especially hard to find. After trying for a little over an hour, I caved and received some help from a fellow pilot who, annoyingly, found it in about five minutes. I have to respect that, honestly.
Finally, after hours of exploration, mining, crafting, and setting up our ships, we are prepared for the finale of this episode. Today, we will be flying alongside a player faction fleet, and exploring the depths of wild space with allies at our side against the pirates and drones lying in wait there. The faction we are flying with today is Nebula Industries, or NBI, one of the older and more notable factions in the game. Having participated in several historical battles, including above all, the Battle of Taste Day. Hey. Well, hello there. Hi, Arctic. Hello. Arctic, uh, we found a perfect wormhole route, so we're we're kind of a little a little hectic. <laughs> a little little hectic at the moment. Cool. Nice. We're, we're making 12k, even though it's fully depleted. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a got a nice WHFO going on. Yeah, although it's still like. Five jumps or six jumps or whatever. Totally that's better. still that's like twelve k for like six jumps. That's not bad at all. I am incredibly poor. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, it's I'm an jumping challenge. in the wormhole. I'm going to see that too. But uh, where are we rallying somewhere or something? We yeah. will be rallying in the secure system called His Cell. I think it's H I S E L. I went through the wormhole. Oh, it goes to F oh, bye bye. You problem now. You problem. Oh, Commander's here. <laughs> it's like literally way out into the Sictum wild space. I am heading there soon when everyone is here. Everyone is shooting. All right. <laughs> My upside nice down. galaxy nice, theory. Nice block. <laughs> Someone be the press. Nice colors, guys. Press, I need the press. <laughs> yep. That's everything. some firepower. I am shaking so much. We got no combat. You come, you can move. Where? Do we have one? Yes, Bro, the cameraman is about to get obliterated. Cameraman, <laughs> 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 about to get shot. deleted. Reduce to ash. Cameraman, don't die. Do not stray into the wall of bullets. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Fire! Alright, don't aim like... up. Do uh, not move your crosshair. If he went into the thing, <laughs> it's his fault. Uh... Who are you waiting on? Huh? I don't know. No one. Oh. Yeah, I just got blow some shit up. You know what? Who's still muted? I think you guys know. Ooh. One. Warp. Four. No, I'm slow. That was very. I was slow. sick. Yeah. Anyway. Very nice. Let's see. That's a BF anomaly. There's a. It's the beginning of the end. Someone goes to everyone to planet five. 
Everyone pilot five? Probably. I'm not sure which safe right now. You can check through the uh by checking none of this is safe. Plan, using the everything is seen Ty's hundred percent gonna die. Like I'm not even capping. Alright, let's take out the drones. Stop the cap. Okay. Okay, I'll send you home if you want, Willick. You want me to send you home? Yeah! Yeah, oh. Willick, you want me to send you home? I got you. Use point defense, by the way, for these little fighters. For our sales team. Because we're going, we're going first come, first serve. I suggest we split up. <clears throat> We don't need 14 destroyers on uh, one But that's no fun. We don't God we damn it, you got a point. Then you got the clip. God damn it, he's got a point. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in. There's a lot of gray circles on my screen. <laughs> the drones aren't getting very far, are they? Is it a captain? Captain. Yep. captain. captain. Oh, yeah. Nice. Everyone focus. Target that man! <laughs> wow, oh my god, man! Fun. Doesn't have right. Oh, no! Watch this trick shot. Oh! Uh, the Chevron's dying, by the way. No. That's legendary! No! No! Oh my gosh, they're not shooting at me! Please! There's a bigger ship right there! Do not okay, kill the regulators. Yeah, Just kill off the destroyers and uh, things that are really doing the damage, and then we can move on. Oh my god, the pirate fighters are ramming me and moving my ship. Yeah! Damn. Yeah. Like, what planet are we going to kidnap, Pac? Planet 6. Everyone warp to Planet 6 now. Yep. Just because we have a lot of people who's not or not. Can't die. Someone can easily pick up a lot of targets, like Taco is now. Yeah, the AI has a habit of just latching onto somebody and really going for it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait, throw me a code, yeah. I don't have anything. What was that? Oh, that's such a thing. You're alive. Giant ass right. destroyer targeting me. Clear destroyers first. Ban fighters if you can. Then clean the generators. Do not hit the regulators. Small ships warp out. Destroyers chill if here. If someone for drops that warp seconds. disruptor, I swear. Wait, why is there a pirate corvette here? At, at P2, there's a pirate corvette. Alright, warp to planet 6. Warp to planet 6. Include it and warp to planet 6. Medic gaming, exactly. It'd be fun to play a support ship, you know? Buff your teammates and stuff. Yep. Totally, just get an echelon and just sit in the middle of the fight, just healing everyone. Hey. Gaming. NBI gaming. Get that steel destroyer. Alright, start working on the gener two generators at a time.
Taco. Taco, your hole, bro. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm 86 tall, I'm fine. Alright. This is another fire that I'm doing. Uh, where are we heading? Oh, wait, there is there is one also in the ring. So, once you get to please P2, immediately warp to the ring, or else you're gonna get fucked. I'm going to, a I'm going to the AT, bro. I'm going to the AT. Are we warping to the ring? As a r go to the ring on planet 2. Everyone. I see him, sorry. Hey, Dude, I haven't got a single piece of loot from any of the pirates. Alright, oh, warp, the warp up. I'm trying to heavy hole repair! Warp up. Yeah, heavy hole warp, repair. Warp out. Nice. Warp out. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. that was Let's depressing. go! Uh, Hammering job, pirates. Where's that captain? Joe and commander. Oh, commander. Fuck it, I'm out of here, bro. I knew I was dead there. Ah, no battleship. No battleship. All right, next drone uh, fee will be. All right. Uh, looks like my group. We're gonna rush it. Oh, oh, low. But how? Wait, is anyone too low? No. Nah, nope, we're no good. Has. We are okay. good, we're all above 90. Alright, rush it. Oh, we're rushing. We're rushing Ooh, this, uh, that's rush. where we are hard rushing this one. Okay. okay. That's a big boy. Oh my god. Uh, if, if, if one of us. Oh my gosh. There's seven. Give me that. Oh, no. He didn't have much. He didn't have much. Yeah. There you go. Take your time getting the monument. Oh, we got another Jump large down. one. Alright. P3. Yes. If you if you're with the destroyers, you go plant three. Yes. Ooh, another one. Look at this fat fouling. Out the way. Am I late? Um, yes. Battleship. Battleship. Oh, How I have a lot of dread. Uh oh. Dread right now. <laughs> I'm inside the Loxodon again. <laughs> oh, really? oh my. Oh, oh my. <laughs> we have. Arctic, bro. It's always Arctic. Yeah, let me. I, I can't walk. What the heck? My alignment. Arctic is for. Let, let go of my. Let go of my no, ship. But, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Right. Uh, except for an iron point, which you don't get from two. Please help. Um. After this, uh, we should do. You can grab the normal Narcor if you want, if you want red. I mean, uh, you can. Yeah. You can also get red Narcor from. Yeah, I. Um, where's a different Brandon? planet? <clears throat> that means someone else needs to watch a wormhole if you don't want to all Brandon die. Uh, miserable death. I'd just like to say we got nothing from the last three. We got. The, the, yeah, we, we got the four. So we got six. You want everyone? Safe area. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, unicorn. Yeah. Well, uh, you kind of got into my way, so I may or may not damage you up to this. Yeah. There one's here, then we're gonna rush it. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Oh, okay. we got a big one. Okay. We got a. Okay. Alright, which planet? Shit. Oh no, I lost the track of the shield generator I was killing off. Oh, okay, that was it. 
Do not kill off the shield generator. Right now? Okay. Uh, fuck it. We ball. Kill him. Plant 4, right? Oh, snap. Plant 4 also has a draw factory. Clear it and then warp to me. Alright. I'm gold too. You're safe and sorry, dude. You're getting really low and you're taking a lot of damage. Get the heck out. Didn't have really anything? No. All breach? No! Oh. How much I'm gonna just go to P2, see if there's any um, dangerous stuff. Oh, hey, that's dying. Group work plan too. You like my skin? That, that one was pretty big. I think I'm just gonna miss. Oh, we got a big one. John Captain. That was. Oh, that was my... oh I worked through yeah. the sun. Bro, why is it a bed gonna happen? Alright, get him low, and we go full tilt. Target that. Oh my god. I have lured the commander. I've lured the commander away from the fleet if you guys want to warp back. Limited in. Hey, Epic. Did you get a, did you get a ship blueprint? Wait, where are we warping to? Where are we warping to? The wormhole. Yes, wormhole ready. is directly south of the planet three. Someone do that. By drone? Yes. Yeah, I work. Uh, I can't go. Warp to the wormhole. I can't go. Uh, like burned away from them. <laughs> Hold door. Oh, there it is. That's... Right there. Behind us. Yeah, it was Doge. Oh, crap. Man, y'all blame me for everything, bro. I mean, wow, they're I after you. <laughs> I would. <laughs> they're <not>? after <laughs> you. <laughs> wow, now they are after me. What is this fleet? <laughs> right, oh, my gosh. Oh, the my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we're out, we're out, we're out. Dude, dude, we're back. This didn't happen. This never happened. This was a dream. And you were sleeping. And it was all your imagination. Go back to sleep. Grapnels on word you. On the word you. Don't use grapnels, they suck. I know, but they don't have a uh, medium turret variant. And armor just makes them do no damage. Which planet? Two. Hey, we making a new squad? Hey, look. Boys. I hate yeah. berries. Commando, I see you, bank. Two tips. Alright. Commando. 61 build. Why yeah. do you need that much? And you have like every <laughs> module in the game. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, I made it back. This we're time at, I we're at, we're at, oh shit. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm gonna get All back right. a little bit. Alright, target the battlements. Target the front and the, the central. Alright. Which wormhole is it? Three. Okay, we're warping. Here. Oh, 
I right, could really use a hybrid paragon. Well it's not going well for me over here. I'm just gonna... If you're taking a lot of damage, warp around. Start working on them shields. The shield set? They're in the front. Yeah, okay, that's good. Lego, I'm hiding behind your ship. <laughs> The battleship wants to touch me. The actor. Kill it. Are we, are we already loot goblining? That's kind of crazy. Hey, hey. Hands Don't. Off. Hands off. Hands off, boys. Damn. Oh, oh God. Dude, I, I. That's an update. Wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks really good. Good enough. And you guys are good. I'll send both of these to Patwick. Alright, and in general. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Don't 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 <laughs> We we're just doing this funny. We're not actually hitting you. Uh A huge thank you to Nebula Industries, to Patwig, and to Commando for being great sports in this episode. You and your faction are a lot of fun to hang around, and I hope to fly alongside you again in the future. Thank you everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you around Spaces in the coming days. Until next time, fly safe out there, pilots.